Hello, welcome to our daily pause. I hope you're enjoying these moments as we share them as a staff with each of you each day. A few weeks ago, I shared a daily pause that focused on a passage from Jeremiah 29. It seems that it's still ranking up there as a favorite scripture during these uncertain times, for I have gotten much feedback from that first daily pause. For those of you who don't remember that scripture, it goes like this. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. Yet recently I received a message from a friend that likened this scripture passage to an old cliche. Perhaps you too remember hearing that cliche as a child. It goes like this. God never shuts a door without opening a window. To be honest with you, when it comes to this cliche, I have always had difficulty thinking that it was any good. You see, the implication to this cliche is that God is in the opening and shutting business. And I've always been uncomfortable with that line of reasoning. Let me enumerate for you. It's probably because as a human being, I know that when I do not understand why some doors close in my life and I decide it must be God's will, all I've really done is blame God. And so over the years, I have learned to reframe this old cliche whenever I hear it. And that's what I did for my friend. I said, how about the cliche that goes like this? When one door shuts, another opens. And I suppose I do that mostly because I strive to seek after an image that hopefully finds an Easter faith. A faith that lives and believes that no matter what happens in life, no matter what unforeseen circumstance we must suddenly confront, there is a power in this universe that offers new possibilities and new meaning. You see, the Easter affirmation knows that in life doors get closed, yet God insists on opening new doors. Or to put it into that Easter image, God insists on prying with a crowbar the stone that has been rolled across the tomb in which we live, that we might walk out into new sunlight. That for me is the Easter affirmation. That is an Easter faith. That no matter what roadblock you run into in life, no matter what changes or challenges are demanded of you, God will show you a new task to be done for yourself and for others. And I wonder if we believe that, especially when times are tough. When one door shuts, another opens. I hope you've enjoyed this daily pause, and I hope it brings insight and meaning into your life as well. God bless.